And just a day before the General Assembly in New York, scores of diplomats walked out from two meetings at the United Nations sessions in Geneva, Switzerland. And uh, on Tuesday, the walkout was done as a protest against Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Now, it took place when Russia's uh, Foreign Affairs Minister, Sergei Lavrov, gave a video statement in the conference. Well, Lavrov spoke about disarmament and the Human Rights Council, which he initially aimed to attend. However, several European countries closed their airspace to Russian planes, preventing Lavrov from traveling to Swiss. Shortly afterwards, numerous uh, diplomats, including Ukraine's ambassador in Geneva and the foreign ministers of Canada, as well as the mark, walk out of the Human Rights Council chamber. According to a council spokesman, around 100 people left the room. Now, uh, British Prime Minister Boris Johnson on Wednesday called Russian President Vladimir Putin uh, a war criminal and urged the uh, United Nations to condemn his uh, invasion on Ukraine. Now, Johnson wore a UK-Ukraine uh, flag pin, and many lawmakers were also clothed in the Ukraine's blue and yellow color. Now, UK minister has been warning uh, the president, and also the commanders could face prosecution at the International Criminal Court in the Hague, which has already been opened and probed into the invasion. Now, ahead of the vote by the UN General Assembly, as we just uh, watched in this piece, um, you know, Johnson added, we call on every nation to join us in condemning Russia and demanding that Vladimir Putin to turn his tanks around. And also, one of the things that I think is very massive coming from the prime minister, he stated that, you know, warn our further sanction if offensive continues, reprising a new three-word slogan, and that is, Putin must fail, which I think that is such a great, you know, huge statement from yeah. the prime minister itself. Yeah. It has to be like that. Mm -hmm. Well, apart from legal sanctions and government and uh, sanctions, Russia's economy is also tanking due to the act of war. Western countries agreed to remove seven Russian banks from SWIFT, the financial messaging infrastructure that underpins the global financial system. For example, the cost of oil surged on Wednesday mm -hmm. as traders snapped up non-Russian oil, increasing the chance of further price rises at UK four courts. Brent crude, the global benchmark for oil prices, passed $113 a barrel to its highest level since June 2014. Now, traders are struggling to sell Russian oil, even at a discount, mm -hmm. because of the new difficulties in shipping and payments amid its invasion of Ukraine. Gas prices also doubled, which could feed through to energy bills. According to UK-based research consultancy, Energy Aspect, almost 70% of Russian crude oil exports do not have a buyer. On Tuesday, oil trader Tafi Gura offered a cargo load of Russian crude oil at a record discount of $18.60 per barrel, mm. below the market level. So it's like almost 90% discount. And now, multinational companies ExxonMobil said it was halting operations at a multi-billion dollar oil and gas projects in Russia and would make no further investments in the country. Other than Exxon, Apple, Ford, and Dell also joined the roster of companies retreating from Russia in response to its invasion of Ukraine. I mean, it's one thing to show a force, but it's another to tank your own economy. Wow. Right. Yeah. Putin. Yes, yes. And the response about what happened in the UN, uh, Putin's uh, response on the show, Russia's UN ambassador held a press conference to take call, informing him U.S. As is kicking out 12 Russian diplomats for spying as foreign minister warns of consequences for nations flying weapons to Ukraine.